can't be humble, bro. bro. You can't be humble, bro. You can't be humble. You can't be humble. These niggas sometimes walk you over. can't be humble, bro. You can't be humble. I feel you. Like sometimes you just gotta, yeah. You gotta, yeah. You hear me? You can't be humble sometimes. Sometimes it ain't cool to be humble. It's how it's cool to be humble sometimes. Sometimes fuck that. Show them you. Do you. You hear me? And with that being said, what's the one thing that you learned working with Gucci Man? One thing I learned about working with Gucci Man is goddamn me. Business is business. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. That shit crazy. You, you got any features gonna be on that album? Or, or, I don't need no features. I'm gonna J. Cole on these niggas' ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck these niggas. I rap better than all these niggas anyway. Like, no cap. <laughs> I, and I, I I agree with that actually. To be honest, because nah, you, you can't story, be humble, bro. bro. You can't be humble, bro. You can't be humble. You can't be humble. These niggas sometimes walk you over. can't be humble, bro. You can't be humble. I feel you. Like sometimes you just gotta, yeah. Yo, you gotta, yeah. Yo, you hear me? You can't be humble sometimes. Sometimes it ain't cool to be humble. It's how it's cool to be humble sometimes. Sometimes I fuck that. Show them you. Do you? You hear me? And with that being said, what's the one thing that you learn working with Gucci man? One thing I learned about working with Gucci Man is, goddamn I mean, business is business. You hear me? Handle the business. You hear me? Handle the business. Don't nothing matter but the business. The money. You hear me? Fuck everything else. You hear me? Fuck everything else. Because I'm telling you, man, bump beds don't come with no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bump beds ain't no motherfucking cash, you man. No. You hear me? And ain't no motherfucking gonna be in that cell with you but yourself. So all that goddamn mean gang shit, man, fuck all that. You hear me? Them bitches gonna leave. I don't motherfucker that be around for a nigga. Maybe it's his mama. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. So with that being said, shit, that's what he be trying to drill through a motherfucker head. Like, man, fuck all that real shit. You yeah. gonna get fucked out trying to keep it real. He want nigga, that business to be right. Nigga, do, do this shit. You know what I'm saying? This what's going This, this right here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I done did that. Basically, he's saying, I done did that shit. Real you talk. You know what I'm saying? And Gucci, you know what I'm saying? I be, you know, I done, Gucci, you know what I'm saying? Man, man, Gucci done been the same age. You know what I'm saying? We done been the same. He done been my age before. And he done been a rapper at my age before. Yeah. So, nigga, he know what he was doing at my age. He know the shit he went through when he was rapping my age. So, you know what I'm saying? He know. You know what I'm saying? That's why I be feeling like he give me the insight he give me. Because he done been there before. You know what I'm saying? And plus, when a nigga really... You know what I'm saying? Come from a certain environment, he know how it is. You know what I'm saying? Nigga fuck with me. I fuck with Cud too though. Nigga changed the nigga life forever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm hey. forever indebted to that nigga. Hey, do you think you know he always saying? uh sign street nigga just because he trying to get him out the streets? Who? Gucci. Yeah, of course. Yeah, once you hit once you hit a certain level in life, fam, like, once you all the way straight, you get a kick out of it. That type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I already rich, fam. Yeah, so you want to I don't give a fuck if you got a billion dollars or you got 500 million dollars, nigga, you still a billionaire. Nigga, what's the difference between, I mean, it's 500 more mil, but nigga, you ain't, I'm a street nigga, you ain't no richer than me. If I got 500 million, I ain't gonna hate exactly. on you because you got a bill no. and I got 500 mil. We can do the same thing. We can do by the same shit. Exactly. You hear me? So I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he be taking motherfuckers out the streets when he already got this? And nigga already, I yep. already set a stone. You got everything. So you gotta be doing it for the thrill. Yep. You gotta be doing it just to say, Look it's here. me. Yep. I did that for that young nigga. You hear me? That's what I think he's doing it for. Type shit. That's a good reason. Don't get it though. twisted. The money cool too. That's a bonus. But the money ain't more important than, yo, I turned a real trench baby to a multi million dollar businessman. You hear me? And now he gonna do the same thing. For somebody else. You hear me? It's called breaking the cycle. If a nigga that lucky to break the cycle, if a nigga stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get Type you. shit. Hey, yo. He done gave you, have he gave you pointers like in the studio and everything, things that he he focus on, or you just do your you own? Just stay thing. in the studio. Just stay in That's there. That's how Gucci gonna say. Stay in the studio. You gotta stay in that bitch. Stay in that hoe. Stay in that hoe. Word. Don't leave that hoe. You can spend night in that hoe. It's a shower in there. Yo. You gotta bring your sleeping bag. If a nigga really serious about this shit, yeah, you gotta bring your weedish to the to the studio, nigga. You gotta bring your toothbrush, your weedish, your sleeping bag, your cell phone, all it, your grease, deodorant. You gotta bring the whole the shit you bring to them hoes' eyes. You bring it to the studio. You hear me? That's real, real talk. That's real. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Yeah, we gonna talk.